hello friends so welcome to uh, another session on problem solving and uh, we are dealing with quadratic equation and uh, it is a famous saying that uh, you know to learn mathematics you have to do mathematics okay so hence let's do mathematics let's continue with our you know a session on uh, more and more problem solving so here we have taken up one problem which is also asked in one of the exams uh, in uh, board exams rather so what is this question this question says 1 upon a plus b plus x equals 1 upon a plus 1 upon b plus 1 upon x and it's given that a plus b is not equal to 0 so why is this condition given you will realize in a little while but this is the equation given and you have to solve it clearly this is not in uh, in in this current form we can't call it as a linear or a quadratic equation but it can certainly be certainly be uh, reduced to a quadratic form and how do i know it so whenever you see uh, two terms or wherein the variables are in the reciprocal let's say uh, 1 upon x plus let's say another term is 1 upon 2x plus 1 and there is some constant on the other side you can you can you can fairly you know uh, uh, guess that this is going to be a quadratic equation so that's where if you see here in the denominator there is x term and there is x here so uh, this will lead to or this will end up being a quadratic equation let us try and solve this now so the first step is to you know uh, get all the variable terms on one side of the equation so let me take 1 upon x on the left hand side you will get 1 upon a plus b plus x minus 1 upon x so 1 upon x on the right hand side comes to the left hand side and this is equal to 1 upon a plus 1 upon b next you can multiply the denominators to get the common denominator a plus b plus x in the lhs i'm talking about then what is uh, what should be written first first it will be x how do i get that so you multiply these two denominators and uh, you leave the denominator what is whatever is the other term you have to write it first like that then you clearly know the other term will be a plus b plus x right and this is equal to again common denominator is a b and hence it will be b plus a isn't it so let's go further so if you simplify this you will get x minus a minus b minus x on the top the denominator in the numerator and you open up the denominator you'll get ax plus bx plus x squared and this is equal to a plus b upon a b okay now what if you see this x minus x and x goes so hence i have minus a minus b upon uh what will it be it will be x square so i am rearranging the terms in the denominator here it is ax plus bx is equal to a plus b and a b right now here is the catch now if you see minus a plus i can take minus common in the numerator and i can write this as x square plus ax plus b and this is equal to a plus b divided by a b now guys uh, in if you see uh, there is a plus b on both the you know left hand side and right hand side so i can cancel it but the word of caution here is a plus b must not be equal to zero because if it is zero you cannot cancel the terms understand why because in a way you are dividing both sides by a plus b right then only you are cancelling a plus b but division by zero is not possible so a plus b must not be zero hence the condition given here a plus b is not zero already we know that so we can cancel it if it were zero it, the condition was not given then you cannot write that okay or you cannot cancel it now next step clearly will be nothing but minus of x square plus a x plus b x sorry this was x so bx is equal to a b now i have taken the reciproc reciprocals so hence if you see the entire equation will be reduced to x square right uh, plus a x plus b x and plus a b is equal to zero right so i have taken all the terms negative from this term left hand side on the right hand side and then i have swapped the places right hand side to left hand side now this will be nothing but now if you see um, there are four terms and clearly we can see some common terms so let us group them so x times x plus a plus b times x plus a is equal to zero 
So hence it becomes x plus a times x plus b is equal to 0. So clearly either x plus a is equal to 0 or x plus b is equal to 0, right? Either of the factors will be 0, then only the product is 0. So hence x is equal to minus a or x is equal to minus b. Why are, why are we saying or not and is because if any of the two equations are satisfied then this will hold true this particular equation will hold true it need not x need not be minus a and minus b simultaneously even if any of them is true let's say if this is true then also it will be zero or this is true that that then also this particular equation is going to be zero so hence we say or and not and so either of them will be sufficient okay so this is how we got the solution so hence what is the solution for this equation x is equal to minus a and y sorry x is equal to minus b you can check it by deploying x equals to minus a and minus b you will get lhs equal to rhs and hence you know how to solve these particular quadratic equations so hence what is the learning learning is it might not appear to be quadratic but if you simplify it you will end up getting a quadratic equation you have to just be you know sure that the cancelling factors need not be or must not be zero if it is zero you can't cancel right so these are the learnings from this problem